To answer the question of what drives me of either courage, fear, or passion, insanity is what this game is driving me into with the handling and physics. So, we're inside of his helmet or in the shadow realm to signalize his fear? You can say a big portion of the budget went into this intro, since the game cutscenes are just basically comic book style. You know the movie was bad and that not even deliveries from the movie itself are even in the game. Alright Jizzle, before you get into the zone to your grave, let's rewind this accident back and see what happened. Nobody lost any parts for such an explosive accident like this. The green white car doesn't even flip, and it doesn't end up on the grass or sand. And from this point on, Jimmy's just asking to die if he's just going backwards on purpose like this. And I still can't tell what did Jimmy just hit to fly in the air? Concrete barrier? Tire barrier? A sign? Why risk everything if you're not risking anything? I guess you better be glad this game didn't came out today. I mean, I don't know how many people will find this specific livery offensive. They called me the Hummer. And I call you the Mumbler. Because sometimes I just can't understand you. When I was in the zone, Auto zone. then I lost the edge. My wife. Who serves no purpose in this story? Here's a fun fact. You know this transition where it says driven and it's ASCII year as well? If it says 2001, it's the PS2 version. If it says 2002, it's the GameCube version. Tanto's up next. What's happening down there? Well, Jack, Tanto's gonna try and get back in the saddle and see if he can find the zone. The zone is really a problem in this game, on just the PS2. You can still hear the music in the car in the GameCube version, but all you hear is nothing but wind on the PS2, depicting it right from the movie, of course, but still annoying. And no, there isn't such a setting that you can turn off in the menu. The zone's where it's at. You can come on with the car, but Jimmy's gonna listen. I gotta show him I can still get in the zone. Prove I'm the best. I'm the best. You gotta be the best. Oh. We the best! So, welcome to the Big Apple, and as Jimmy Bly tries to put his season back together, the hot gossip is, he has got it together with Brandenburg's girl, Sophia. Alright, you guys are just bringing this up to create more drama and tension because, one, who asked? Two, when did I ask? And three, this should just be kept private, away from the public. A few moments from now, Tanto will be heading onto the raceway to prove he's still a force to be reckoned with. Hate to interrupt you there, Dave, but I've got Joe Tanto here. What's it like getting back in the car, Joe? Worried Brandenburg might have some speed on you after such a long break? You know what, guys? I'm afraid of two things. Doctors and spiders, and Brandenburg doesn't resemble either, and I'm gonna drive his little rubber butt into the ground. I never knew the Joker had an MD. We've caught up with Jimmy Bly and Joe Tanto here at a New York photo shoot. Any minute now, we're going to get you an exclusive interview. Maybe you can find out what Joe thinks of Jimmy. Does he think he can get his season together? Right now, they're in their cars and gripping each other over something. Doesn't look like the pressure of the season's got to them, so Joe says Jimmy's still got a lot to prove. Hey, wait a minute, Jack. They both started their engine. Jeez, my God. Tanto pulled away. What? I don't believe this is happening. Now Bly's taking off. You think you can take me? <laughs> I think you're all mouth, kid. All right, let's see what you've got. In the city? Damn, y'all going to jail. Richard Petty? Is that you? Dave Perry, Jack! A real scorcher lineup for us! That's right, Dave, but pit lane gossip is Jimmy's not concentrating. He's got his mind on Sophia, not the race. Again, it's not like the love triangle really matters anyway. Folks, welcome! You join us at the Landmark Party in Paris, where Team Spirit's two new prototype cars have been unveiled. And they look great. Shame you can't say the same for Jimmy Bly. He's been acting strangely all evening. It's just that kind of simping activity when somebody tries to be Mr. Steal Your Girl instead of chasing trophies. It seems there's some commotion over by one of the cars. Jimmy started it up. 
This can't be happening! He's just driven it out of the building! Building? Surprising he didn't hit anybody, break any glass, or went through a door. When being in a love triangle leads you to commit high-speed crimes in another country. By the way, you don't race with the prototype cars. It's just gonna revert back to the original cars. They're still gonna be unlocked, but missed opportunity to use them in this part of the story. I head to head through the streets of Paris. Any news on what happened, Jack? Oh yeah. Seems Sophia finally went back to the boy Brandenburg. I guess love struck Jimmy Blip. One thing I know for sure, Tanto missed the next race because of that little adventure. Seems unfair if Joe has to miss the next race because of the chase, but Jimmy doesn't. What's more, seems nothing is going right for Team Spirit. A German Jinx saw Tanto's replacement memo, pushing too hard in bad conditions, sending his car crashing into a river! You know, with how broken the physics are, surprisingly it wasn't 100% accurate to the movie. We're down with two races to go in this championship, and it should be a classic! Brandenburg's ahead, and Jimmy needs every point he can get! The heat is definitely on! Brandenburg's got Jimmy's girl. Now he wants Jimmy's championship. Any tactics for this clash? Yep. The team bosses told Tanto to block Brandenburg so Jimmy can get clear. But Tanto's gonna have a real job keeping the defending champ behind him. It promises to be a battle royale. No, it's not what you think. And he's done it. Jimmy Bly has done it. He's taken the Driven Championship. You know... Because this being a simplified version of the movie, they can't really call it cart. For a game that's basically based on a movie, it depicts it really well. Even if the movie itself is really bad both receptionally and financially. Now, as I mentioned it a few times, there's only two versions of this game. The PS2 version and the GameCube version. I never played the GameCube, but from what I heard, and seeing that it's more playable and more decently enjoyable than the PS2 version. And I played the PS2 version. I remember when I played this as far back as the late 2000s when I was a kid, even without a PS2 memory card. Even to this day, I have a copy of the game, and I only replay it for nostalgia reasons, even if it was bad, of course. But I just mainly play it to go around in Manly Park and Desert Palace, because racing around in the other tracks, oh man. Oh dear. Sure, Manly Park being a novel and Desert Palace basically being a slightly bigger Nazareth, shorter Pocono, and you can say parody of Phoenix International Raceway are easier to drive. But when it comes to the handling, you just go straight to the left or straight to the right? Well, not directly to the left or to the right, but it feels like you're either going into the wall, to the wall, or into someone else. Sometimes even you're gonna spin out for no reason. Hell, there's a certain classic car, cause this game has unlockables too. Like I mentioned with the prototype cars that you don't get to race in the story, but they are unlockable, well, the livery. But there is a certain classic car that this game has. The handling is so bad on that thing. I tried it out once, I never want to do it again. Let's just say that. Now the story again, it's basically the simplified version, or just a scaled down version of the movie. Only having pretty much the most important events, but it's still not great at all. Few things that I would say on how this game could have been better, I'd say release the PS2 version along with the GameCube, refine it more to play it more like the GameCube version, then maybe it would have been better. No. Since the GameCube version is better than the PS2, it would have been on par with that version. Because this would have worked out better as a gaming franchise rather than a movie series. And since the whole thing is basically a fictionalized version of Champ Kart, you could have introduced car drivers in this and made it as a Champ Car racing game. Something that could have rivaled IndyCar back in the day. And heck, while at it, add Driven as the story mode. It could have been something like Breaking Point in F1 2021 if done right. Other than that, well, that's as much I can say because we all know how bad this game is. If you ever played it before, you've seen it before, or even seen someone else review it before. Hell, we know how notorious this game is in its own right. I don't talk much about the music, especially this being a subjective topic. 
that if you like the music, you like it, and if you don't, you don't. But it all depends on what we like to listen and what we don't. But I enjoy some songs, and sort of to this day, I'm trying to look the soundtrack of this game. Well, certain songs from the PS2 version that are not available to be seen. And I say that because not the exact same soundtrack that was on the PS2 is on the GameCube. So you're probably going to hear different songs on certain tracks on the PS2 than you would on the GameCube, and vice versa. And this being a budget title of a failing movie, both receptionally and financially, I understand why they couldn't acquire the licensing agreements for certain sponsors that they used in the movie to get the exact same liveries that they used in the movie in the game. But at least you could have, I don't know, half the livery without the sponsors and we can easily recognize the characters. A few more things before I go. Jimmy Bly is a sim, so versus Stallone in a yee yee car. This thing runs on worn out soft tires in the rain, even if there is no weather in this game. And this is driven. It's gonna get exactly 2,001 sins. So is Jimmy's car number 17 or 18? Make up your mind.